गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन सेशन ऑफ हिस्ट्री स्टैंडर्ड सेवेंथ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स कॉन्फ्लिक्ट विद द मुगल्स स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी स्टडीड हाउ ब्रेवली शिवाजी महाराज डिफीटेड सईस्ट खान एंड वी ऑल्सो स्टडीड अबाउट द सूरत कैंपिंग महाराज ऑप्टेन प्लेंटी ऑफ वेल्थ फ्रॉम सूरत His camping of Surat was completely successful but Mughal emperor Aurangzeb wanted to curb the increasing activities of Shivaji Maharaj and he sent Mirza Raje Jai Singh to Pune Jai Singh drew up a plan of capturing the forts which were under Shivaji Maharaj when the Mughals put the fort of Purandar under siege Murad Baji Desh Pandey fought with great courage and died a hero's death considering the seriousness of the situation maharaj began talks for a treaty with jai singh shivaji maharaj signed a treaty with mirza raje jai singh in this treaty maharaj gave to the mughals 23 forts and adjoining territories and annual revenue of 4 lakh hons hons means gold coins and shivaji maharaj also promised the mughals that he will help against the adil shahi after the treaty of purandar was signed mirza raje jai singh launched a campaign against the adil shahi according to his promise shivaji maharaj helped jai singh in this campaign but this campaign was not successful Mirza Raja Jai Singh suggested to Shivaji Maharaj that he should visit Agra and meet the emperor and he also guaranteed the safety of Shivaji Maharaj Shivaji Maharaj knew that emperor could not be trusted but still he decided to go Agra and meet Mughal emperor Aurangzeb Shivaji Maharaj left for Agra with his son prince Sambhaji and a few of his trusted people who were ready to risk their lives for him when shivaji maharaj reached agra he noticed that aurangzeb did not treat him with due honor shivaji maharaj angrily left the court of mughal emperor aurangzeb and emperor felt insulted thus he ordered to put shivaji maharaj under house arrest Shivaji Maharaj drew the plan and very smartly escaped from Agra and reached Maharashtra safely after a few days he reached Rajgad while returning from Agra he had left Sambhaji Raje at Mathura later prince sambhaji was brought safely to Rajgad while maharaj was away from swaraj veer mata jijabai and the associates of shivaji maharaj looked after the administration of the swaraj after returning from agra shivaji maharaj wanted to recapture the forts and territories which were given to the mughals as per the purandar treaty maharaj attacked the mughal territories of ahmednagar and junar then he captured several forts such as sihagad purandar lohagad mahuli karnala and rohida one after the other then maharaj attacked surat for the second time while returning from surat he fought a great battle with the mughals at wani dindori in nashik district maharaj defeated the mughal sardar daud khan in the great battle after that moropant pingle captured triambagad near nashik sardar slaik Tanaji Malusare Moropan Pingle Pratapraw Guzar made a valuable contribution in the capturing of forts thus Shivaji Maharaj was successful in the offensive that he had launched against the Mughals Krishna ji Anand Sabhasat a contemporary chronicler describes the camping of Maharaj capturing the fort he describes that he took as many as 27 forts in 4 months and earned a great reputation for himself escape from agra 
Shivaji could not bear the increasing atrocities that Aurangzeb's soldiers were inflicting on his fellow people. He decided to withdraw his attacks on the Mughals for some time till everything cooled down. He went to see Raja Jai Singh who had approached him on Aurangzeb's behalf for a settlement. Jai Singh gave Shivaji a warm welcome. During their discussion, Shivaji politely asked Jai Singh whether he liked to work for the Mughal Emperor. Jai Singh had no answer to this question. In their agreement, Shivaji agreed to hand over 23 of his forts to Aurangzeb and also accepted to work for the Mughal Emperor. Along with his nine-year-old son Sambaji and with his most trusted fellow men, he started for Agra to see the emperor. No sooner did he reach the beautiful city, he became the topic of discussion for everybody. Everybody wanted to see this great man who had defied the rule of the emperor. When Shivaji arrived, Aurangzeb made him and his men stand amongst common soldiers. Shivaji was furious. How dare you insult me? Do you remember it is me who has made your life hell? He turned his back to the emperor and barged out of the palace along with his men and returned to his camp. The emperor was furious. Shivaji had insulted him. He immediately ordered Shivaji to be put under house arrest in his own camp. Shivaji realized that they were trapped. He was constantly trying to figure out ways to get out of the emperor's imprisonment along with young Shambhaji. His most trusted people were trying to chalk out a plan to escape. Shivaji suddenly had an idea. He told his followers his plan. It was a big risk. There was no other way. As decided, he sent a message to Aurangzeb asking him to relieve his men. He said, You don't need them here. You need me. Moreover, you will incur more expenses on their food and other things if they stay here. Let them go. I will stay back. Aurangzeb tried to figure out if Shivaji was planning something, but when he could not, he finally agreed to Shivaji's request. When one step of the plan was complete, Shivaji moved on to the next. He pretended to fall ill, severely ill, so much that he couldn't even get up from his bed. One day, he pretended to have severe pain in his stomach. <laughs> Physicians came to see him, but could not treat him. His pain kept increasing. Aurangzeb heard about Shivaji's illness. Even he believed that Shivaji was seriously ill. Nobody had an idea about the plan that Shivaji had in mind. Aurangzeb received a message from Shivaji. I think my end is near. I don't think I will ever recover. I want to do something for the needy. I want to offer them food and sweets. I request your kind permission. Aurangzeb agreed to this too. Huge baskets filled with sweets started moving out of Shivaji's camp to be sent to the poor. They were checked thoroughly by the guards at the exit. The guards also used to pick up some sweets for themselves in the process. This became a regular habit. After some days, the guards got tired of checking the baskets and even eating sweets. They became careless. This was the time that Shivaji was waiting for. As usual, when one day the baskets came, two of them remained empty. Shivaji 
handed over his bracelets to Hiroji Farzad. He then got into one of the baskets and Hiroji took his place on the bed. Young Shambhaji got into another basket. Then, one by one, the baskets started moving out of the camp. After checking a couple of them, the guards let the others pass without inspection. Once outside the village, Shivaji and young Shambhaji got out of the baskets. His men were already waiting there with horses ready for the escape. Here at the camp, the security in charge, Fulat Khan and his men used to occasionally peep inside Shivaji's tent. And on seeing Hiroji lying on the bed, they mistook him for Shivaji. After a while, Hiroji and Madari got ready for their next move. They placed cushions on the bed and covered them with blankets. Both of them came out of the tent. The guards stopped them and asked them, where were they going? They explained that Shivaji's pain had increased and that they were going to the village to fetch medicine. Quickly, they dispersed into the night. The next day, when the guards came inside to check, they found nobody there. They were taken aback. Shivaji had disappeared. They searched every corner, but it was of no use. Fulat Khan was dumbfounded when he realized what had happened. He couldn't figure out how Shivaji had got out of there. He still could not believe that Shivaji had escaped. He was trembling at the thought how Aurangzeb would react when he got the news. When Aurangzeb got the news, he was flabbergasted. How on earth could Shivaji get past such heavy security? But it was too late. Shivaji had made a fool out of them. He and his men were safely on their way towards Pune. <laughs>